Okay, just wanted to show Jane Troy the latest addition to the glamping setup. Uh, so that's my 130 watt panels. Sun's okay today. It's mid morning or 9:30, 9:45. Okay, now I've got them running directly into my uh, 125 amp hour battery. So I've got two of them now. They're currently punching in. Uh, around about seven and a half amps, which isn't too bad. Um, I haven't got it over eight yet, so here we go. Um, there, so that's wired by. Um, well, these two are in parallel, so it's still a 12 volt system, um, bridged with this um, cable here. So all Anderson plugs, and it's really convenient because I can charge or draw off any of those. So. You know, it's fully interchangeable, which is awesome. And this box has got the digital meter in it, so happy with that. And then I just run up to my 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. A bit of overkill for this, but I do run my computer and shed off this, so um, just go down here. You can see this ice maker I'm running at the moment for. It's drawing about 109 watts. Or just under one amp. I um, bought this new Esky to store the ice. I mean, this is more so for drinks. You're not going to fill a giant cooler with this. Um, it says it makes about 15 kilos a day. Um, yeah, that'd be, you know, 24 hour period, I'd say. But um, for our purposes in camping, when there's no shops around, it's going to be very convenient. This cool is quite good. It's got the fridge seal in it. Um, raised surface here. And it's quite well insulated. So no cubes coming out of it. Um, generally they're a little bit watery every time as it gets colder. But it makes it on those prongs there. And the shot of water drops them off. And this arm will come through and throw it into this container. I'll show you that. starts over again. But yeah, about every 10 minutes I think it's making the larger size, which is not too bad. Um, they're a little bit hollow, of course. And it's pretty simple to use and clean. You just got the reservoir of water down there and it fills through that plug hole. That's about it. It's an hour now and it's starting to fill the bottom here. Like I say, you're never going to fill a really large cooler. This one's only 22 litres, and it's purely for drinks. Uh, big enough to hold a 2 litre bottle width-wise. Um, yeah, it's going to be great for uh, all my friends and enjoy a drink. Um, you know, for your scotch or bourbon or rumbos or whatever you're into, whatever you're poisoning. Yeah, we do have um, also, me and most of my friends have 12-volt uh, fridges. I've got an 82 litre fridge and freezer or either or um, for all our food so this is wholly and solely for drinks.